Man, I love this view. This is one of my favorite places in Chicago. This is Michigan Avenue Bridge, high above the Chicago River. You could make an argument that this is the place where Chicago began because this was the original shoreline of Lake Michigan. Today, the city's been pushed out into the lake quite a ways, but the shoreline was originally here, and Chicago's first permanent residents set up a home here near the shore of Lake Michigan. It was a trading post in the late 1700s. Uh, it was uh, Jean-Baptiste Pointe du Sable, a fur trader of African descent, and his wife, Kitty Hawa, who was Potawatomi, and they sure wouldn't recognize this today if they could see it. Michigan Avenue Bridge was built in 1920. It opened North Michigan Avenue to development, and we quickly got four great gateway buildings uh, on the four corners of the bridge. The first one built was the Wrigley Building in 1921 by Graham Anderson Probst and White with that great neoclassical facade and the clock tower up at the top modeled after the uh, uh, clock tower, or the uh, bell tower rather, at a cathedral in Seville, Spain. Directly behind me is Tribune Tower, which was the winner of a 1925 design competition. The architects were Hood and Howells of New York, and it's modeled on the Gothic cathedrals of Europe with those great flying buttresses up at the top. The second place entry in the Tribune Tower competition uh, inspired yet another of these buildings, 333 North Michigan Avenue, diagonally across the bridge from me, slender, soaring Art Deco tower with those vertical limestone stripes going right up the side. That's by Hollibird and Root, and it was inspired by Eliel Saarinen's second place entry in the Tribune Tower competition. And the fourth great gateway building here is the London Guarantee Building right across the river from me, very neoclassical with the triumphal arch at the base and the Corinthian columns and the classical temple up on the roof there. It's now a boutique hotel and there's a rooftop bar with a fantastic view up there. In fact, the view is so good, let's go up there and take a look. How's this for a view from the roof of the London House? great perspective on the scene around Michigan Avenue Bridge. And I wanted to come up here to show you something else. Look at the view west along the Chicago River with the tour boats and the bridges. And if you look all the way in the distance there where that yellow water taxi is, um, that's where the three branches of the Chicago River come together. That's Wolf Point. And we have another 360 video that we filmed over there. So check that out as well. Something we can see from up here really well is the corncob shaped Marina City complex right along the Chicago River. Uh, that was designed by Bertrand Goldberg uh, in the late 1950s. And what I love about it was it was so far ahead of its time. When Goldberg conceived that in the late 1950s, People were fleeing cities, moving out to the suburbs. No one was imagining living in the city, and if you thought about living in the city, you certainly weren't gonna live along the dirty, smelly Chicago River. But now, a generation later, it's so cool to see it right at the center of this vibrant riverfront in Chicago with the river walk right across the river. And one final thought, if you're looking for a really special place to pop the question, you can actually, uh, look behind me here, you can actually rent out this Greek temple on the top of the London house uh, and really impress your date. It's even got X's and O's around the top.